Welcome to our review of Madeline Hatter. Hi, Ever After High fans. That was my little girl doing her second introduction. This is a review of Way to Wonderland, Madeline Hatter, daughter of the Mad Hatter. Madeline comes in a circular box and she too has been posed as if she's falling. The back of her box also contains her artwork and a clock face that has been customized to her story, which in this case is a couple teacups and a dormouse. I believe she has a pet dormouse called Earl Grey. The little story about her here explains that she finds that it's always tea time in Wonderland because of course Madeline Hatter is all about throwing tea parties. As I cut the box open, I'm feeling a bit sorry for her. I don't know if you can tell, but the angle at which they have her head tilted back looks really, really uncomfortable. Almost like it's about to come off of her neck socket. Taking her out of the box, I feel still pretty sorry for her because she's got a giant top hat stuck to the side of her head and that has got to be heavy. But her colors are very interesting. They remind me of Apple's colors and Lizzie's colors in this set. So why don't we start from the very top of her head. Her mint and purple colored hair has an extra streak of fuchsia in it. And that huge top hat is being held to the side of her head, defying the laws of physics with those two plastic thingamabobs. Her earrings are gold clocks or maybe compasses. I can't tell, maybe one of you guys know. And she has mauve makeup, mauve eyeshadow on her eyes and mauve eyebrows and mauve looking almost purple lips. Her necklace is very cool. It looks like a tea set with even a teaspoon included. She's wearing a celadon or maybe it's turquoise colored um, tube dress and she's wearing apple red leggings underneath that. I really like that turquoise and red combination. I've always liked that and her shoes are turquoise matching her inner dress. Overall this she is wearing a huge oversized coat that is tied together at the waist with a purple polka dot ribbon and the coat has some interesting patterns and designs on it. Looks like there are teacups and chess pieces and spades. I think she represents the suit of spades in this Way to Wonderland set. Looking at Madeline Hatter's story, she represents the suit of spades as I said. She has a diploma certifying her graduation like every other doll and like every other doll, she too has to solve a riddle in order to graduate. Going back to her accessories, she has black gloves on, but unlike the other dolls, her cuffs are black too, and her ring is a large pink top hat, which I thought was super cute. Her shoes are also super cute. The heels are stacked up teacups, and the there are ruffles on her shoes, or what look like ruffles, which reminds me of a tea cozy. So I really like Madeline. I think she looks very whimsical and very wonderlandiful. And she has a turquoise colored pocket watch slash pocket book. And it also opens up to that same non nonsensical clock face that the other dolls are carrying. And I just finally felt so sorry for her that I decided to cut the teacup off of the side of her head. And I just decided to put it on correctly put it on the top of her head. It's still, it's still jauntily tilted off to the side, but at least it's not attached to one side of her head. And at least perhaps she can hold her head up straight. Or maybe not. Maybe she just can't hold her head up straight no matter what. Anyway, overall, I really like this Madeline doll. I think I still like Kitty the best, but I like the others about the same. The reason I'm turning this doll around here is so you can see how matted her hair is in the back right out of the box. So we're going to have to do a little hair rescue on Madeline. But other than that, she is pretty perfect. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I hope you'll like and subscribe. Thank you.